Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading last month in September. So, this is my ebook haul for September. Normally, with ebook hauls, I also talk about the books that I downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited during that month. However, I got a lot of books for free in September because we had the, um, what's it called? Like stuff your Kindle day where there's a bunch of eBooks for free. So that was in September. And so I got quite a few books. So um, if I included my Kindle limited reads, it'd be like a billion years long. So we're just going to include the books that I got for free last month. So let's get into these romance books. The first one I would love to mention was actually a gift for my birthday. This is Found by the Lake Monster by Lillian Lark. This was gifted to me by Aspatia over at Asparagus's Reading. I'll link her down below. I love her and her channel. And yeah, she was so sweet to gift this ebook to me. I think it's a short novella about a lake monster and a human woman. I really enjoy Lillian Lark's monster romances, so I'm very excited to read this one. Next, I have Suddenly Broken by Claudia Bergoa. Bergoa. <laughs> this is the first book in a series, and it is still currently free to download. So this is a duet that apparently ends on a um, cliffhanger and it's an emotional duet so just be aware of that. So our heroine is basically music royalty. Her parents are Gabe Colt and Chris Decker who are very famous musicians but no one knows that they're actually romantically involved and are together and have children. So they're kept a secret. But that chance of falling for somebody I don't know who but the summer is very vague but it sounded like pretty good and the man on the cover very much intrigued me so <laughs> next is alien mate by cara bristol this is 2.99 to purchase if you are interested oh i downloaded this one because it was a mail order bride book and alien mail order bride books i'm a sucker for them so this is about star and earth's government falsely convicted her of murder packed her up on a ship with other female felons and sent them to dakin a prim a primitive frozen wasteland of a planet. But she's no barbarian's mail order bride, even if he is super tall, muscular, and the chief of his tribe. So his name is Torg, and he's waited 34 rotations for a mate of his own. He's wanting a sturdy mate who will bear him daughters. Instead, he receives a small pale haired female who looks at him with anger and fear. Ooh, sounds a very interesting. We'll see how this one goes. Any alien romance really that I find for free, I, I just get it. Um, next is Chef Daddy by Golden Angel. So this book is $2.99 to purchase if you are interested. Um, this one is about Chef Saul who runs an organized and efficient kitchen and each member on his team has something valuable to offer. Everyone except Vicky. She never wins the weekly baking competition and she's sure the only reason she still measures up is because she's dating the executive chef. At least that's what everyone else must think. As Vicky's insecurities start affecting the entire kitchen team, however, Chef Saul must put his foot down both at work and at play. When he decides it's time to serve his darling Vicky a little tough love, he intends to make her sizzle both inside the kitchen and out. There we go. I know my friend Kate loves Golden Angel, so I might have to check this one out. It's only 70 pages. So. Ooh, next is Mafia Mistress by Mila Finelli. This was free in September for a short period of time, but it is on Kindle Limited if you are interested. All I know is that this is a mafia romance where our heroine is from a mafia family and she's been arranged to marry a guy from a mafia family, a different mafia family, um, but then she ends up falling for that guy's dad instead. So sounds quite taboo. <laughs> Next is Washed Up by L.E. Eldridge. I think this is the start of my um, Stuff Your Kindle Day purchases <laughs> or free purchases. Um, so this is on Kindle Limited if you're interested. And again, I saw this cover and I needed it because it's like alien monstery. And plus we have plus size rep on the cover. So this is about culinary student Quinn who's excited to finally move up in her culinary career when she lands an internship of a lifetime on a coastal cruises. It's the opportunity of a lifetime and an adventure that'll take her across the sea. The only downside, it means spending the summer with her lazy rival who's only there because his father is a famous chef and he isn't afraid to play dirty, even if that means throwing her overboard. Jura isn't like other Krakens. While most prefer silence and independence, Jura thrives on a hidden island bustling with other paranormals, yet something is still missing from their life. 
until the ocean guides them to a human. Drawn to her determination and charm, Jorah has no intention of letting go. Next is Cupcakes for My Orc Enemy, another monster book. And I really love Honey Phillips. So like Honey Phillips and it's monster orc. Yes. Okay. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. And I think it also might be still free. So check that out if you are interested. So this is about Alara and Grondar. Grondar. <laughs> so Alara flees her corporate life to open up a coffee shop in a small southern town of Fairhaven Falls. The last thing she's looking for is a relationship. But when she meets Grondar, the gruff orc owner of the bakery next door, sparks fly literally. Grondar has been burned by human females before. He has no intention of letting the feisty little female next door get under his skin, no matter how attractive he finds her. And it certainly doesn't mean that he's going to let her get away with sabotaging his business. Ooh, it's rivaling businesses. I love that. They're, um, there's a book back there that I love called Kiss My Cupcake that is rivaling businesses. Like, oh, I love rivaling businesses. They're so fun. Next is Healing the Orc's Heart by Leon Riley. This is still currently free to download, I'm pretty sure. And this is the second book in her Trollkin Lovers series. I think I got book one in this series in the last Step for Kindle Day. And I previously, like I've now since read it, since downloading book two and I DNF'd it. <laughs> so um, we'll see if I get to this one. I may be unhauling it. I don't know. We'll see how I feel, but I did not like book one, so. We'll see. <laughs> Next is The Cowboy Takes a Bride by Christy Rose. This is $3.99 to purchase. And it looks like it's a cute cowboy romance. Okay, so Meredith Hanover is, used to be a socialite and is on the run from a tyrannical father. When she's given an opportunity to become a modern day mail order bride to a rancher in rural Wyoming, she realizes this might be her only opportunity for a fresh start. Ooh, modern day mail order bride? You don't really read about those. Okay, Jace Shepard's dying father gave him two options, get married and take over the ranch or be cut out of the will. Mm. But life on the ranch is hard and isolating, something the previous women in his life couldn't hack. With no other solution, he strikes a deal with a professional matchmaker for a temporary bride. The plan is foolproof, a bargain struck. Everyone wins in this ruse of fake love, yet they're both pretending. Why does it feel so real? I love cowboy romances. And then like the mail order bride situation definitely has me intrigued. Next is Captive Bride by M. James. This is still currently free to download. My first husband is dead and buried. I'm left a widow, mafia princess, a dangerous title to hold, especially when one man already has his eyes on me. Victor Andre Andreev. Andreev? I'm so sorry I'm butchering that. Oh, I'm horrible, okay. His own men call him Usiri, the bear, older than me, with a reputation for violence and acrylic steer to match. He's no one I would ever choose for a husband. In fact, I'd hoped that I'd never marry again at all. But he's made the price for peace my hand in marriage. And it's clear that I can't refuse. I've survived marriage to one cruel man already. I'm no fragile princess. I know I can survive this. But the secrets of the Bratva are darker than even I realized. And the more I learn, the more desperate I am to escape. Only one man and the temptations he poses stand in the way. He holds my body captive, but he'll never hold my heart. I wanna get more into mafia romances. I haven't really read a lot recently, and I feel like I'm getting in that mood again. So that one might be one I pick up. Ooh, next is The Dragon's Mate by Lola Glass. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. And I also still think right now, as I'm the time I'm filming this, it is still available to purchase for free. I was supposed to seduce the Dragon King, but before I could, he claimed me as his. Now I'm chained to him, trapped in an ancient mating process I neither want nor understand. I've got to get out, but there's only one way to do that now, and it involves a much more permanent type of shackle. I have no idea what will happen if I agree to be the king's mate, but one thing's for sure, my life will never be the same again. Ooh. Oh, it's slightly inspired by Beauty and the Beast, which is cool. Cover is definitely interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> Next is That Summer by Jillian Dodd. Right now, this is available for $10. This one's about Devaney and Chase. So Devaney's summer break was shaping up to be the best one ever. Her longtime crush was finally interested in her. And by the time school rolled around in the fall, she knew she'd have her boyfriend. Just when their relationship was getting started, she finds out that she's leaving on a three week vacation to the Ozarks for some good old fashioned fun with three generations of the Diamond and Mackenzie families. She's not thrilled about being gone for that long, but she's looking forward to spending time doing nothing but getting a killer tan, finally learning to ski and hanging out with her best friend. She and Chase have always been close. He's cute and sweet, smart, responsible. He's always there when she needs him. She loves him dearly. 
and if it weren't for their age, things might be different between them. But when Chase returns home from football camp with new muscles and new attitude, she realizes something. Chase McKenzie has gotten hot and he doesn't look like her little brother's best friend anymore. Ooh, so she's older than him. Okay, will this be the summer that Devaney and Chase fall in love or will it be the summer that everything falls apart? This next one looks so cute. This is Running Into You by K.M. Gillies. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. Betty St. Clair is perfectly content with her life. Having sworn off relationships, her life revolves around work, friends, and reality TV. Why would she step outside her comfort zone when she's so very comfortable? When her best friend's brother moves two doors down the hall from her, her rules and routines We'll have to learn to be flexible. Josh Pine is starting a new chapter in his life. New city, new job, and a new appreciation for his new neighbor. He may be the one who moved into her building, but she's the one thing living rent-free in his head. When a work of fitness challenge puts a marathon in Betty's future, Josh agrees to help her train for it. Their mutual attraction builds with every mile and soon running isn't the only thing that's getting their heart rates up. They will need to work past old heartaches and hangups if they want a chance to go the distance. That's really cute. I haven't really read a book about um, like runners before, which will be super fun. Next I have Scarlet by Kaylee Hilton. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. I spent the last six years running, hiding, and thinking I would never be found. Scarlet was the creation of pure evil where everyone is numbered, tattooed, and categorized like animals for slaughter and assigned a place within the program. From infants, we are trained, manipulated, and controlled into becoming highly as trained assassins to protect the bad guys without knowing the truth. In a world where relationships and friendships are tested, in a world where love blossoms and demands sacrifice, where pain is mental as well as physical and blood and destruction followed, I was the reason for the hunt. In a world where the stars are the light that guides me within a life that starts to feel like a game of chess, where we have to risk it all to end the one thing that created us. So we have to ask our questions, who will end up on top, who are willing to pay the price to be free forever. Then again, it wasn't their choice to make, it was mine. That sound is so vague. I don't even know what this is about. <laughs> that summary's got me nothing, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay, I'm gonna learn more. We'll see how this goes. Next, I have the Double D Ranch by uh, Rochelle Bradley. This is currently free to download still. This is the romance between Jesse and Josiah. This is a heartwarming, slow burn, friends to lovers romance set in the small town of Fortuna, Texas. So Jesse ended up inheriting some property from her grandmother who ends up donating a bunch of these spicy romance books all over town. They're left in the barber shops, pool halls, pubs, challenging others to feel to join the fad but then book clubs are formed plots act out in a town saturated with romance jesse finds her love life underdeveloped but then josiah made a promise to jesse's dying grandmother to keep jesse safe he aims to honor it even if that means protecting jesse from himself oh no <laughs> i don't oh no <laughs> we'll see how this goes i don't like heroes in romance books. I think Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life calls it white fanging <laughs> based on the movie White Fang where the heroes break up or aren't with the heroine because they want to protect the woman from himself. Like no, that's a dumb reason. Very dumb reason for not being with somebody. Like if you love somebody enough, if you care about somebody enough, if you want to be with somebody, flip and do it change yourself. Why would, change yourself. Like if you think you're not good enough, but you want her, like change yourself for the better. So anyway, that's my two cents. So we'll see how this goes. It's a rancher. So I just downloaded it. It was for free. So we'll see if I ever get to it. Next I have Prince of Lust by K.L. Morrison. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. Citri, the Prince of Lust was once one of the most dangerous damning sins, twisting desires to his advantage his advantage goodness <laughs> now the prince of pleasure must find his way back into his power while teaching a reaper the ropes will he earn back his power over passion or will lost love be his new damnation very vague broad that's that's it for the summary and the last one that i have is seeds of sorrow by l Beaumont. this is still available to download for free life for eden is simple until she's given to the nightmare king Wishing for more adventure in her life and hoping to escape from her under from under her overprotective mother's thumb, even for just a night, Eden accepts an invitation to a ball. 
in another king's court. Despite her mother's ire, it all seems worth it as their travels take Eden away from home for the first time and into the middle realm. Draven, known as the King of Nightmares and ruler of the Dark Realm, and 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 Hera and Hera <laughs> desires only to remain in his kingdom and maintain control and order over the ravenous creatures that lurk in the shadows. However, he finds himself drawn away by the mysterious summons of his brother, who appears to need his aid desperately. In one evening, thrust unwillingly together, Lady Eden and King Draven find themselves beguiled, betrayed, and betrothed, neither prepared for what that means for them or for the immortal realms. As politics and death intermingle, can two entirely different fae learn to rely on each other? Or will the Dark Realm destroy all that is held most innocent and precious within the realms and Eden herself? Sounds very cool. With Fae involved, I haven't read like a good fantasy romance in a bit, so maybe this will be that. Anyways, there you have it. Those are all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading last month in September. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the um, cowboy emoji, like the smiley face with the cowboy hat <laughs> emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.